Hello and welcome everyone. Today's replay highlight features the brand new tier 10 German destroyer Elbing in a truly great game, including one of the most unusual achievements you will ever see in a destroyer. But before starting, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Marutukas for sharing this replay with me on Discord. That was sent to me yesterday, yesterday evening, in the Elbing, and apparently this is something special and has a very funny ending to boot. So this is the brand new, oh, little bit of a lag spike there, but it's in the replay, it's not in my client. I've noticed, and a lot of the guys playing in the UK are getting these little lag spikes. There we go again. Oh, that one was a little bit bigger than the first. The guys in the UK are getting these lag spikes. I hope... I hope the replay is not ruined by these, but we shall see. Oh, he's dropping torps on where he predicts the enemy fleet will be coming from. It's kind of predictable. A lot will come across the B-line. This is the brand new Elbing. I'm quite sure you're all aware it's now fully researchable in the tech tree. And I think this has the possibility to be one of my favorite new ships. It's, it's a lot of fun. I played it quite a bit during testing and to be honest, I was kind of blown away by how effective it can be. I'm still grinding it on my main account. I'm still on the Felix Schultz. There is the Felix, speaking of which, there is an enemy Felix Schultz coming out. He does get a torp hit on something. It's detected. There's Uster Jutland here in front of him. And the replay file is not showing the ship names. Takes out the Uster Jutland with a devastating salvo of AP there. Puts Torps on the position where the Felix Schultz smoked up. Okay, so this is the first replay I've tested since update 10.5. And for some reason, the ship names are not rendering. That's very strange. So it's obviously related to the new patch. We can see the ship names on the map. You can see that that's an Izumo and North Carolina, those two battleships. We'll have a quick look at the repulse once we get back to port. A couple of new test ships in the port there this afternoon. So our Elbing captain is already off to a very nice start. He's got the first blood. He's got 17,000 damage. And he's got the enemy Izumo in his sights. Here is a broadside Mogami. And this is a perfect target. Quadruple Citadel, 19, 19k salvo. A little bit less the second time. Three salvos. Bye bye, Mogami. What on earth was that Mogami thinking? Well, he's now got to deal with a broadside North Carolina. Spicy 6k salvos. Another 4400. 
He's taking additional fire there from something. Punishing salvos on the broadsides. Takes out the North Carolina. Already up to 91 gay damage. Three gills. And this is dream stuff. Uh, the enemy Izumo is kind enough to show full broadside 7700 there on that Izumo. Another 6500. You can see the potential of these guns. 3300. Even though the Izumo is pretty well angled there. Oh, here comes slow moving Kansas. Another prime candidate for armor piercing. Drops a couple of torp spreads down in front. Turns back on the Izumo. He doesn't want the the Kansas to turn. No, he's actually turning back to focus on the Kansas. Kansas is showing really nice angle. Broadside, semi broadside in this case. He's up to 130k damage. These guns have incredible potential. I mean, when you get targets like this, that show broadsides, you can really punish them. That's the Confederate Award. He's aiming a little bit low here. I would expect to him to be aiming a bit higher. He's got the Gunther Luchens captain in. Activates the reload bonus. Meanwhile this Kansas is taking a real beating. 150k and counting. Kansas goes down. Gets a torp on the Schultz. Those are always nice little bonuses. Gets his fourth kill up to 157k. And I must admit, I, I've had some really fun games in this as well. With the with the Gunther Lutchens captain activating that reload bonus. And you might think it's only 7.5%. But it all adds up when you're using Fearless Brawler and Adrenaline Rush is kicking in, this reload can become really quite scary. These guns just feel... If you're, if you're being targeted by this, this gun power feels relentless. a fire on that Izumo. He's already done quite a bit of damage to this Izumo. And he's fleeing. He's returning fire. Pretty sure our captain is using a double rudder shift mod because he seems to be turning really quite easily. There is a ZF6 knocking around. There's the High Caliber Award. 177k and counting. That Izumo is still on fire. He burns down. Gets the Kraken Unleashed Award. And we're not even 10 minutes into the game. 10 minutes 40 seconds on the clock. Hundred and seventy-eight K Kraken unleashed and he's not done yet. Apparently the good stuff is yet to come, from what I've been told. So that leaves a Kremlin, Shimakazi, Des Moines, Richelieu, Z fifty six. Z fifty six would appear to be in the B point. Fletcher takes out the enemy Kim uh, Shimakaze. Now the Richelieu is coming in showing full broadside. 
Here's the Riga spotted now as well. He's able to stealth fire here. Take the cap and stealth fire. That's a, that's a real bonus. He is detected though. And rammed from behind, of course. What's ramming him? Friendly Alsace. Ah, those friendly battleships. Richelieu gets undetected. But he is going to spot him again here momentarily. Riga gets blasted by the North Carolina. He's getting a lot of torpedo protection hits here, but there that he's getting the damage again, 2600. Takes out the enemy Richelieu for Gale number 6. Up to 191k damage. First Blood, Confederate, High Caliber, Kraken Unleashed. So far, so good. He's turning in to go for the, the B point. Pretty sure he's using double rudder shift here. That's the exact way I have this ship set up as well. And this is indeed dream scenario. You have targets showing broadsides. You're able to virtually constantly fire your guns. Unfortunately, the Alsace that rammed him a moment ago takes out that Des Moines. That's a perfect target. We saw earlier how the Mogami just got literally demolished in three salvos. And you're capable of doing the exact same thing to a Des Moines. Zf Zf F6 is in the smoke. He doesn't have Hydro. He's popped out. He's there right on the right side. So what's he going to do? Is he going to rush the smokescreen? The ZF6 has very dangerous torpedoes. And with the reload booster, if it's off cooldown, you don't want to be getting caught. Setup 6 is rushing. He's going to try and torp. Torp rush, I suspect. No, he's actually torped. He's torped the Alsace. <laughs> it would appear he's coming in for the ram. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Survives the ram. And wins the game. That's quite funny. <laughs> and getting the die-hard achievement in the process. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sealing it like you stole it.